Out about the intensity of last week's storms, these pictures right here mm. will tell the story. Good evening, everybody. I'm Scott McDonald. I'm Ann Nyberg. These aerial images from New Fairfield were provided to us by Eversource. It was exactly one week ago these severe storms blew through our state, causing catastrophic damage. News Ace Noel Gardner is in Wallingford, where the recovery process continues. Noel. Scott and Ann, and the power has been out for almost a week here in Wallingford for most of these residents. But good news tonight, the power is back on, but that's not the same for the next town over. North Haven residents, some still without power tonight. Day seven, the storm is long gone, but the impact is still being felt across the state. It's just there's so much in a in a small amount of area. You can see the damage behind us. A lot of the wires were down, a lot of the poles were down. And the services many rely on are still out of service. I lost power, uh, cable TV, uh, uh, telephone, uh, that's been out. But, uh, the uh, Wi Fi and so forth is uh, still out, probably won't be in for another week. The town out here, Public Works, is their trucks are all over the place. They're cutting and hauling, hauling debris away, moving it to the side so cars can get by. The storm brought down huge tree limbs on top of cars and houses. A tree fell on our house and we didn't even hear it. It was during that five to seven minute blast of wind that came through and we did not hear it come down. I heard uh, transformers, there was like six or seven explosions, five of our telephone poles snapped. I don't even know how many trees down, too many to count. Um, we had an in-ground pool in the back that is completely covered in trees, you can't even see it. Um, we have a uh, fenced in backyard that's completely demolished. In North Haven, some people are still waiting for the power to come back on. Yeah, it's been challenging, but I'm hoping that it's going to be back on soon. Residents say it's going to be a while before things get back to normal. We're waiting for the insurance adjuster to come out and give us some idea of um, what we could expect. We're still waiting for the, the claim adjuster to come by and, and, and kind of take a look at it. So right now we have it covered with a tarp. They'll get it done. I, I figured in about a month we'll probably be back to normal. Scott and Ann, the wet weather not helping things. Residents have been asked to pick up the brush, put it outside for town officials to pick up. I'm live tonight in Wallingford. Noel Gardner, News 8.